happy. I'm happy with my decision. I mean, I can always go to grad school, or hopefully if I get into medical school, I can go down south and uh, see how that goes. But, I mean, as far as right now, I think I'm fine with uh, being close to home. And what it, it'll be nice, like, being able to come home and have, like, a home-cooked meal or something with uh, some of my teammates next year or the year after. I uh, looked at a couple different places and always said he wanted to go someplace warm. Um, and play football or lacrosse, he wasn't really sure, but uh, the opportunity to play lacrosse at Albany, I didn't, uh, you know, it was his decision, but I'm glad he made this his decision. I was kind of hoping he would make, keep him close at home. I was thinking, he's talking Texas, Florida, Southern California. <laughs> so, you know, he's like, I just want to be warm. He's tired of the, wi the, uh, the winter, so, but the opportunity to play Division One lacrosse, I think is really what, uh, what got him and the, the, the program, the, the medical program over at Albany is what, which he wants to pursue as well. So that just the whole thing seemed to fit uh, what he wants to do really well. It's very exciting. I had Mike when he was a ninth grader on the freshman team. So I've been with him. We've both grown together as a coach and an athlete over the past four years. And it's very exciting to see him develop not only as a young man, but with his lacrosse skills. And of course, being right down the road, it's going to be very fun to go watch him play next year, watch him on TV, and watch him get even better under that great coaching staff they have with Scott Marr and the University of Albany. At, uh, at Division One school, especially number 20 in the country, uh, I'm going to have athletes just as good as me, if not better than me, every day. So um, it's just going to be having to like try as hard as I can every time. And, um, One, he's very athletic. When you see an athlete like he, with the caliber skills that he has, the natural skills he has, and when he plays hard, uh, even when he makes mistakes, it's still a, a thing of beauty. Uh, Mike has the talent. The only thing that holds him back sometimes is Mike. And the last year and a half, I've seen him unleash the inner, the inner uh, power within himself to go all the way and do everything he can full speed. And it's a great thing to watch. I mean, I love like Friday nights, like under the lights and like looking up and seeing the stands, like after you score. But I mean, uh, for scoring overtime or something at Albany, I'm sure that'll be be pretty exciting.